Click PLC and Node Red combined to make a powerful automation system. The step by step guide teaches how to install a PLC C2 N Red module into the Click Plus option slot. We will cover the basics of PLC module installation, making it perfect for beginners or those new to the Click Series Plus. Get ready to upgrade your automation system with ease. Node Red is a visual programming tool for connecting physical hardware devices. APIs and online services as part of the Internet of Things. Node Red's low code, drag and drop interface makes it easy to create complex flows with minimum code. Whether you're an industrial automation professional or a DIY enthusiast, we will walk you through installing the Node Red PLC module in the Click Plus option slot. From preparation to installation, we've got you covered. Let's start now and take your automation skills to the next level. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, the links in the description below will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. What are Node Red and Click C2 and Red module? The Click Plus family of controllers now has an intelligent option slot module that combines time-tested Click hardware with a popular Node Red open source tool that has already been installed. Node Red has an extensive library of built-in nodes for various tasks including input-output, data processing, logic, and social media functions. The C2 N Red module has an independent processor, ensuring the main CPU of the click remains unburdened but has direct access to the memory of the PLC and all the data exchanges needed to create a working application easily. You can even determine which controller, PLC or C2 and RED, or both will control the process, and several Node RED nodes are available for working specifically with the Click Plus PLC. Download and install Click PLC programming software version 3.70. Our Click C2 and Red module will operate with Click PLC programming version 3.70 or higher. Download the software from the Automation Direct website. Unzip the file by right clicking and selecting Extract All. Double click on the setup.exe file to start the installation process. An information window will appear asking you to disable antivirus software before proceeding. Select OK. The licensing agreement must be accepted before you can continue the installation of the Click PLC programming software. Select I accept terms of the license agreement. Select Next. You will be given the choice of where to install the software on your computer. Hit the Change button to modify or use the default display and select Next. The Ready to Install message will now be displayed. Select Next to start the installation. When the setup type is displayed, select Create a Desktop Icon, Launch USB Drivers Installation, and launch C2 Intelligent USB Driver Installer. Select Next. The USB drivers will be checked and updated if required. Maintaining drivers to ensure that your software is up to date is always a good idea. Click the Finish button when the Click PLC programming software has completed installing. Double click the icon on the desktop to start the new version of our Click PLC programming software. We will be shown the latest features of this new software. Click Next. Additional new features and improvements will be displayed. Click Next. Software and firmware fixes will now give you insight into the software package. Select Don't Display This dialog next time. Select it from the main menu if you want to see this again. Select Close. Update the Click Plus PLC firmware. 
If you update from a Click PLC programming software version less than 3.07, like we are, ensure that the C2 no red module is not installed into the controller. We will connect to our existing controller. This can be done using the connect icon on the main screen or the connect to PLC selection on the start menu. Under the port type, select Ethernet. Select Refresh to have the software check the network. Select Connect to communicate with the Click PLC controller on the network. We will read the project from the PLC and select OK. The software will recognize that the Connect PLC has been programmed with a different version and prompt you to make a copy of the original Click PLC program. Select Yes. We can then name this project or use the default and select Save. We are now communicating with our Click Plus PLC. Select Update Firmware under the main menu PLC. The Update Firmware window will be displayed. Under the CPU, you will see that we will be updating from version 3.60 to 3.70. Ensure that the mode switch on the PLC is set to stop. Select Update. Since we have already saved the program in the PLC, we can install the new firmware without making a backup copy of the Click program. Select OK. Select Yes when asked to update. Our Click Plus PLC CPU firmware will be updated. We can do this without the node red module because the older version does not have the existing software for this intelligent module. A success message will be displayed when the Click PLC CPU firmware has been updated. Select OK. We can see that the CPU firmware version has been updated to 3.70. Close the update firmware window. Select the disconnect button on the home tab of the Click programming software. Install the C2 Node-RED Click Plus slot module. Ensure the CPU controller is powered off when installing modules and PLC cards from the Click or Click Plus PLC. Remove the option card cover if installed by grasping its top and bottom front edges, squeezing and pulling it forward. Hold the option module by the top and bottom front edges. Align the card with the guide slot on the CPU and slide the module into its slot. Press the module into place until it fully seated. Push the top and bottom locking clips slightly backwards until they click into place. To remove the option module card, slightly lift on the locking collars until they release, then slide each clip forward, reversing the procedure. Update the C2 and Red module firmware. We can now update the firmware on our Node Red click card. This module runs independently of the PLC scan and can share information on the controller's communication bus. Power up the Click Plus PLC and select Connect in the programming software. Select the found PLC controller on our network and select the Connect. The login window will appear. Since we do not have a program in the PLC, enter Click for the password and select OK. We are communicating with the Click PLC with the Node Red module in the slot. Under the setup on the main menu, select user account setup. We will ensure that we disabled our password requirement. On the home tab, select write project. This will write our existing program into the PLC. Once the transfer is complete, select OK. We will now update our C2 NRED Node-RED module. 
Select PLC from their main tab and select Update Firmware. Our update firmware window will be displayed. Under the slot zero heading, our C2 and red module will show that our firmware needs to be updated. Select update. A caution message is displayed indicating that any program in our node red module will be deleted. Select yes. There are two methods for updating our C2 intelligent modules, USB and ethernet. In our case, we will connect to an ethernet cable to our C2 and red module. Select Next. Select the Ethernet option for our C2 and red card and select Connection Test. Select OK to acknowledge that the test passed. Select Next. We can now review our firmware update settings. Select Start. Our firmware will now be updating on our node red card. Do not remove power to the PLC or computer during this process. Select OK once the firmware has been updated successfully on your C2 and RED node RED module. Select Close to close the firmware update window. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with all the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so hit the subscribe button. Remember to hit the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Configuring the C2 and RED module. Enabling this Click Node Red module will allow it to function. On the Setup tab of the main menu, select Slot 0 Setting. Select C2 and Red. This will call up the configuration window. Select Use the following IP address and enter the static information you want to use on your network. We will also set up the DNS server addresses. Select the Enable Node Red option to ensure that we can use this module. We will leave the TCP port number as the default 1880. All of the other items can be left at the default settings. You will see the URL address to view the programming of our Node Red module. Select Copy. Select OK. On the Home tab, select Write Project. This will write our configuration of the Node Red module into the Click Plus controller. Select OK once the transfer is complete. Programming the Click Plus PLC C2 and RED module. Our module can now be programmed. To start and program our Node RED module, select Open Node RED from the PLC tab of the main menu. Select the Ethernet option and select Connect. Your default browser will open and you will see the Node RED programming screen for the C2 and RED module. Another way to start the Node Red interface is to start a new tab in the browser and paste the URL address we copied in the configuration. We will be first presented with a Welcome to Node Red 3.0 screen. This will take us through a series of screens about the version of the Node Red. The latest version of Node Red is 4.0, but this release is compatible with the Click Plus module hardware. The nodes already pre-installed in the Click Node Red module are on the screen's left side. The right side of the screen will show information on the current configuration, help files, debug, etc. Programs will be written in flows in the center of the screen. 
To learn more about Node-RED programming, click here to see our series. Click here to learn more about the Click Plus PLC.